What's going on everybody? Welcome back. The last couple videos we've been doing an interior overhaul on my 2005 Lotus Elise. The project's really, really close to being done. Everything is about ready to go to the upholstery shop. If you've been following along, you've heard me say that a few times and I actually already took everything and they can't actually get to all of the panels until the beginning of the year. And that gives us a little bit of time to wrap up a couple loose ends in between this video and the last video, we actually made the doubled in dash that I've talked about a couple times now. I'm sorry I didn't get to film that. I thought it was a really, really cool process, but it was a spur of the moment thing. We had some extra time and got it knocked out and I didn't have any of the equipment with me, but uh, let's take a look at it. So here's our custom doubled in dash. Originally, we were going to have it 3D printed. We had a 3D scan of the original one and we were gonna modify it. But uh, after a couple revisions, it turned out the easiest way to do that's the best way to do it for this project was to modify the original dash. And then we basically molded this entire panel on the car, on the dash with the screen in it. Once everything dried, we were able to pop it out. And then after several hours, we were able to bodywork everything down. And I know it looks a little rough right now. This is just all the different bodywork and things that we did but it's actually very, very smooth and it's ready to go. However, I took everything to the upholstery shop already and they couldn't make the pads that I wanted to have made for those tillet seats. And so today's project, we're actually going to be making them ourselves. I've already kind of started the process and I have a pretty good idea about what I want. Kind of that McLaren Senna style. So as you can see, I've already started looking at this. You can kind of get an idea for what I'm going for, the sort of design and style that I want. We only need to get half of the seat designed because we'll simply draw this out in CAD, flip it, and we'll have some ABS or acrylic cut out on the laser. That way everything's perfectly symmetrical and has a perfect cut. Today, I do need to find the absolute center of the seat, and I do need to get my templates kind of traced out and designed pretty much perfectly so that when we flip them over to the right side of the seat, we have a perfect gap running down the center. Uh, I want to have each of these pads, I want to have about a, I don't know, half an inch, maybe a one inch gap going around it and all the way down the center. So you can see this is a very rough, rough hand-drawn line, but you can see I have about an inch of a gap here. We'll have an inch of a gap around here. And so each of these I want to have roughly an inch, maybe maybe three quarters of an inch gap. And so the goal for today is trying to get each of these panels made, make sure that they're perfect, symmetrical, and ready to go into the laser. Okay, so the first thing I want to do today is find the absolute center of the seat. That can be a little difficult because we have these really, really deep curves. There's no way to accurately measure this, at least not with any of the tools that I have. And so what I'm going to do, I'm gonna assume that these are molded and designed to a very, very high standard. And so I'm gonna measure our logo here and find the dead center here. I'll do the same thing between these two holes for the harnesses. And then we'll move down to the bottom of the seat and I'll do the same thing with this harness hole. I will measure this and find the center of that. And then I will use a laser to line all of those holes up. And hopefully that gives us the absolute center of the seat. And then I can finish out my design work based on that. So it looks like the laser lined up with our center marks pretty well without much work at all. So I think that's a pretty good indicator that we've got that's centered up about where it needs to be. So what I'm going to do now is I'll take a Sharpie and we're going to follow, we're going to follow the line all the way down. Then once we have the center of that marked, what I'll do is each of the pads I'll design to the center of that. So each of the pads I'll design all the way to that center line. And like I said earlier, I do want a gap, about half an inch gap between each of these pads. And so what I'll do after all that's designed and the templates are made, I will measure in a quarter inch and we'll trim that off. That way when we flip it, we have about half an inch on either side. I think that'll work and that's probably the best way to get these things perfectly straight all the way down. So we have this perfect like half inch line that just runs right down the middle of the seat. Okay, so it looks like that mark is pretty straight freehanding it, it did get a little little off here and there, but before I cut anything, we'll 
we'll get it straight with another piece of tape on there, but it's marked in the center. It looks pretty good. So I think that's a pretty good indicator that everything is level. Hopefully we're right in the center of that seat. If we're off just a little bit, it's uh, it's not the end of the world. We can always trim a little bit once we, uh, once we get it cut out of the laser. And I'm also going to cut out some construction paper templates here in a minute once we get the design finalized. And that'll let us flip those over to the other side and we'll be able to check our work. And I think we got it pretty close, but uh, let's get the designs done and then we'll go from there. I do like the design of our shoulder pads, but all of this was freehanded. So now I need to come back into our design and finalize everything using our center line measurement. And I think we're going to use the width of the electrical tape as our baseline gap between each of the pads. The electrical tape is really easy to work with. It's gonna let me lay it down on here and draw really straight lines and it should keep about the correct width along everything that I want. So one of the dilemmas that I've been having is how do I make sure that the edge of each pad is lined up from the bottom of the seat all the way to the top and follows the edge with about the same distance between the end of the pad and the end of the seat. And I think I have a solution. If you've been following along for a while, you know that I'm definitely not a professional. I'm just an enthusiast. I do try to do everything to the highest standard of my capabilities though. So if you don't like the way that I've been doing any of this today, I'm sorry, this is what makes sense to me based on my knowledge and the tools that I have. Uh, but anyway, the solution that I think that I've come to for making sure that our pad and our edge, the, uh, the gap is consistent all the way through is, is right here. I've taken a piece of tape and I've marked it at every half of an inch. Looking at this rolled edge of the seat, it looks like that the distance between the end and where the roll begins is pretty consistent all the way from the top to the bottom. And so what my idea is, take this piece of tape that I've measured and put the end of the tape at the end of the roll. I think we're gonna mark at this one and a half inch marker right here. And I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna mark quite a few locations all the way down the side of the seat and then we'll bring our pad design up to that one and a half inch mark. And that might not be perfect, but I think it's going to be as close as I'm gonna be able to, to do within my abilities. So I think that's a pretty good idea. We're going to go ahead and try it and see how it works. So this might not be the most accurate way to measure that sort of thing, but looking at all of my marks, I'm feeling a lot better about the design overall. Everything seems to line up pretty well with the exception of this shoulder pad design. And I think more than anything, the, the marks are probably close to accurate and this is more of anything just an optical illusion right here. And so I think I need to bring my shoulder pad design out just a little bit. So like I said, I'm feeling a lot better about the design. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out all of my design pretty close to this edge, at least at least along this edge here and this edge down here. I also laid down another piece of tape connecting these dots just so I can get a you know a pretty straight line with what I want here. I don't have to, I'm not gonna follow this line all the way down, obviously. This will just help me to get it straight. Uh, these two marks right here, I did notice uh, were off. I, I pulled the tape a little bit too far off there. So that's why those looked so off. But I came down and I'm doing a little little curve right here. And for this one, I am gonna follow this line all the way down. And right here, we need to bring this out a little bit further. And so I'm just gonna use another piece of tape to keep a straight edge between here and there. And we are gonna do another little curve between here and there. So we'll we'll finish out, we'll figure out exactly the angle of that curve that we want later on and uh so here's we're gonna 
go ahead and mark all that's out. And so there is our new pad that comes all the way to the edge where, where we want it spaced. So at this point now we have our design, our rough design kind of laid out. I say it's rough because some of the edges and corners and stuff we might change the angle of a little bit, but honestly for the most part the, the design is traced out. So now I'm going to pull the electrical tape off. That was representing the gaps that we had between panels. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that off and we'll take a look at the design as it sits. One other thing uh, that I've been doing is even in the areas where we don't have any designs at, I've traced around the edge of our tape. So in case we want to make any changes, I don't need to reapply the tape. Just in case we need to make some changes later, I don't have to go through this, this process again. All right, and there's our rough design. And like I said, it's rough because a few of these angles like I might make that rounded instead of square we might change this up just a little bit once I get the physical templates made but there's our three pads that I wanted to make you can see where they set on top of the you know kind of our original designs so we weren't too far off everything uh, in that sketched out area represents the area between the old design and the new design so you can see that we really weren't too far off with our initial kind of sketching and uh, the design work that we did Okay, so I have to go buy some tracing paper to actually make the sizes and the shapes of these templates perfect. And the sun just went down and it's starting to get really, really cold inside the shop. So I don't think I'm going to finish this project tonight. However, we did make a lot of progress. All of that extra work and time that I spent making sure our spacing was right and that our gaps were all right. It looks like it really paid off. Uh, the shape and the design is pretty nice looking and I think everything's really symmetrical and it's just going to be as perfect as I could get it. I did go ahead and very quickly did a rough cutout of the shoulder pad and I like the way that it looks up there. I think the red is really going to pop off of that black. I do, I do plan on getting the seat pads wrapped in a red. The rest of the interior will be black but I am going to do the pads and probably just a red vinyl. Hopefully in the next video, we finally have an update on the finished interior. Everything should be going back into it. We've done quite a few interesting projects in the last month or two. If you haven't seen them, we did the custom glove box and the old airbag cavity. We're fitting uh, GLA, CLA, Mercedes air vents into the air vent holes. And of course we did the custom doubled in. And so we've had quite a few cool little projects going on on the interior just in the last month or two. I think it's really going to be sharp when it's all done. It's going to be basically my dream interior, and I'm really excited to have been able to do some of the work myself. Uh, but anyway, if you made it this far, I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you all next time.